The Recovery Act is, in fact, working. We don't, don't just take my word for it. Analysts from Moody's to IHS Global Insight to the Economic Policy Institute and others all estimate the Recovery Act has created or saved between 500,000 and 750,000 jobs. Matter of fact, some notable economists suggest the number is as high as a million. All right, that was from yesterday. Three quarters of a million jobs. Let's talk about that in a moment. First, let's talk about the headline. Uh, Stu Varney is with us now from the Fox Business Network. 9.7. Uh, we're going higher by the week, Stu. Yes, we are. The, the march is on towards 10%. 9.7% is a big jump, bigger than we expected, up from 9.4 the previous month. Here's the story. You need to create 100,000 new jobs each and every month in order to keep the unemployment rate stable. Instead, we are killing 200,000 jobs and more each and every month. That's why the unemployment rate is up to 9.7 and marching towards 10 percent. All right, let's examine what the vice president said yesterday about the uh. stimulus plan. Are, are, have we created or saved? Hard to define how you save a job in this economy. We know that's the tricky part of that whole equation, but have we saved through the stimulus spending 750,000 jobs? Well, you can't prove it. At the very best, Vice President Biden is spinning. At worst, he is misleading people and speaking economic nonsense. Just think this one through. We've spent 12% of the total stimulus package. That's it. He claims we've saved 750,000 jobs, spending just 12%, projected out. And if he's right, this stimulus plan creates or saves between 6 and 7 million new jobs, which we have not seen yet. This is fantasy land. Maybe, Bill, these are green jobs created by Van Jones, the wildly successful <laughs> green jobs are. Oh, we're going to get into that. Yeah. yeah. You know,